Yo, what's going on YouTube? Breach for the Stars, aka Robbie Unicycles, aka The Kid. I know a lot of AKAs. And hopefully you guys are enjoying Destiny 2 so far. Um, I would like to say I've been enjoying the game. Uh, I'm going to work on, you know, a few thoughts and reviews and just reminders on the game and what its current state is and, you know, as we go through everything. But today I have for you guys how to complete the Mita multi-tool quest steps. And uh, it's actually really easy, guys. Um, you know, I realize not everybody can... Uh, solo things but you know you should be able to do this one by yourself if not with a couple of friends so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the edz which is the european dead zone and you're going to want to pick up this quest step now you just saw me complete it which is just run through the mission do everything it tells you to do and then just go about your business so the blue quest lines that you go on the edz that you get they basically will walk you through the steps to get the mita multi-tool so first step is go ahead, start the quest, finish it, you know, continue on, beat the boss, whatever, whatever. And then after that, you're going to want to continue the quest steps. I believe you go to the next one, which would be enhance. And uh, it's actually really easy, guys. You just run through it. It's not that big of a deal. So once you guys beat this boss right here, you're going to want to go to the EDZ and go talk to Devrim K. And he'll give you the Might of Mini tool, which is a submachine gun. Then after that, you're going to want to go to Banshee and talk to him, and he'll give you this quest right here called Sight Shoot Repeat. And all you guys have to do is run around with the scout rifle. I recommend doing this in the EDZ with enemies you can headshot or precision shot. And you got to get 50 precision shots with the scout and then eliminate multiple enemies without reloading. And honestly, guys, the easiest way I did this was just the EDZ, like you're going to see right here. So it's literally as simple as that. Um, nothing more to it. So after you guys do that and complete that part, you're going to want to come back to Banshee. He's going to give you this quest step, which is called Under the Hood. And literally all it is is dismantling scout rifles. It could be legendary, rare, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, you just got to dismantle five of them and it's as easy as that. And then once that is complete, you'll go talk to him again and he will give you, I believe, the final part of the quest. So once you dismantle the five scouts, you're going to want to go back to Banshee and he's going to give you the fall will kill you, which is the final quest step for the Mito multi tool. And literally all it is, guys, is you got to run around and kill enemies with the Mito mini tool, the submachine gun, while airborne. So literally hit them a couple times with your scout and then get a bunch of them lined up and just jump around and shoot them. It's as simple as that. It's as easy as that. And then after that, you'll go ahead and return to him and pick up the Mito multi tool. Then once you finish the fall will kill you, it's as simple as going to the gunsmith and boom, you got your multi-tool. So in the footage, you're going to see me grabbing it right now and uh, we'll go over some of the specs with it. And I've been using it like literally guys for at least all night last night, a day or so now. And it is literally similar to the Mita multi-tool. It's classic. They kept it to its roots. It still fires on a hairpin trigger, even though it does not say that it still does. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's as simple as that guys. Um, I think uh, right now I'm going to show you guys some gameplay with the multi-tool. And yeah, I appreciate it if you guys need help, if this helped you at all, or you want me to do more, you know, steps on how to do other shit. We've discovered all kinds of stuff. Not that it's not out there, but, you know, sometimes it's easier to just chop it up and just make it short, simple, and to the point. But as you can see, um, just like year one, you put the little top hat on top of their head. And that's what I call the reticle in the middle. Put it on top of their head, headshots all day, it fires on a hairpin, and it still lets you move, it boosts your movement speed. Aiming while moving, like, is way faster, so, yeah, all in all, I'm really stoked that they had this in the game, and if you notice, my uh, Mita came out at 280, so, my advice to you guys is to definitely do this quest after you've already completed the campaign and you hit about 260 light or so, so your exotics will be higher than what the recommended light is. So... So with that being said, hopefully this video helped you guys. I hope, you know, if you had any trouble with the steps, this will help you out, help you get the Mito multi-tool. I'm going to be putting up a review of Destiny. Well, you know, a lazy review, not thorough. Just my thoughts on it the whole nine. I'm still going to be working on montages. I'm going to be working two jobs again here soon. So I'll still find time to put up videos, still find time to make Call of Duty montages. I'm waiting for World War II to come out. I'm really stoked for that. But yeah, anyways, this hopefully this helped you guys. And uh, yeah, it's been Reach. I'm out. Peace.